In this video we are going to have the Sony XBR 55 A8G review, we will have a detailed look on the various features this product possesses. This video will help you decide whether this television is perfect for your needs. We provided a link on the description to give you the best prices on the market right now. The A8G looks sleek, simple, and black. The panel itself measures just a quarter of an inch deep, with the front dominated by the OLED picture, which is framed by a quarter-inch black border around the edge of the glass, followed by a thin band of black metal along the sides. The bottom edge of the screen features another slim strip of metal, which holds a barely visible Sony logo on the lower left corner, an indicator LED in the middle, and a remote sensor on the lower right corner. It's a strikingly flat, minimalist look that holds up the TV as a simple black rectangle. While the OLED panel is just a quarter of an inch thick, the TV fattens up another 1.8 inches with a rectangular black plastic enclosure that takes up about half of the back of the panel. This enclosure holds all of the TV's ports and electronics, the majority of which are located near the left side. An HDMI port, two USB 2.0 ports, and 3.5mm ports for composite video input, audio output, an infrared blaster, and an infrared receiver face left on the enclosure, along with a small power button and volume up slash down buttons. Three more HDMI ports, a USB 3.0 port, an Ethernet port, an optical audio output, an antenna slash cable connector, and a 3.5mm RS 232C port sit just around the corner on the enclosure, facing down. Like Sony's other TVs, the A8G uses Android TV for its interface and connected features. Android TV is a full-featured system that offers access to a wide selection of streaming services including Amazon Prime Video, Google Play Movies and TV, Google Play Music, Hulu, Netflix, PlayStation View, Sling TV, Twitch, and YouTube. The TV also works as a Google Cast device, so you can stream to it from a smartphone, tablet, or Chrome tab as if there was a Google Chromecast plugged into it. As an Android TV, the A8G features Google Assistant voice support. Unfortunately, it doesn't have hands-free Google Assistant like the Master Series A9G and Z9F do. The TV doesn't have a far-field microphone array like those TVs do, so you can't bring up Google Assistant by saying OK, Google. You need to press the Google Assistant button on the remote and talk into the microphone on it to use the voice assistant. It's certainly less convenient, but it effectively offers the same features like getting general information, controlling the TV and smart home devices, and searching for media. Of course no OLED can put out as much light as Sony's Master Series Z9F or Samsung's Q90 or LCD TVs, which respectively output 1,677.49 CD slash M2 and 1,510. 8 CD slash M2 with an 18% field and are as bright as the A8G when displaying a full screen white field. The A8G, like all olds, has a perfect black level, outputting no light with black pixels even when other parts of the screen are lit up, producing an effectively infinite contrast ratio. We test input lag using an HD Fury Diva 4K 18 gigabits per second HDMI matrix, measuring how long a TV takes to update its screen after receiving a signal, which is important for video games that require responsive controls. In Cinema Pro mode, the A8G shows a very high input lag of 102.3 milliseconds. Switching the TV to game mode drops that down to 39.8 milliseconds, but that's still twice as high as the A9G's input lag in game mode, 18.9 milliseconds, and far above the 20 milliseconds threshold we use to consider a TV to be among the best for gaming. The Sony A8G looks very good and offers plenty of features thanks to Android TV, and at $2,500 for 65 inches, it's one of the most economical OLED models you can get. Its brightness and color performance lag a bit behind LG's OLED C9P series, however, and it lacks the hands-free Google Assistant functionality the higher and Sony Master Series A9G offers. Considering the advent of high-end LCD TVs like the Samsung Q90 or that can get much brighter and offer wider and more accurate colors out of the box while still displaying admirably low black levels, OLED's superlative contrast ratios aren't quite the bleeding edge must have technology they were a few years ago. If you're willing to spend a few thousand dollars on a TV, the Sony A9G offers better features and the Samsung Q90R has a better picture. If you're looking for a more economical alternative, the Hisense H8F and TCL6 series both offer admirable picture quality and strong feature sets for a fraction of the price, though they don't come close to any OLED's performance. Where to buy? You can get the Sony XBR 55 A8G through the link below in the description. We have checked to ensure those are the best price in the market right now. Thanks for watching.